Hey guys, my name is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures and I'm doing this short series of tutorials on how to improve your sound as a video editor, as a video creator by using the tools that are available to us in Adobe. So today we are going to try to remove an electronic beep noise that leaked into a voice recording using Adobe Audition and specifically using the tool called Spectral Frequency Display. So let's listen to it. When my person got three stars, it was like an explosion of happiness. All right, so we are going to remove this little beep noise at the beginning of the sentence. So the first thing is to split this audio clip between the two sentences. And by right clicking and going to edit clip in Adobe Audition, the next thing is to go to this little icon here show spectral frequency display or by uh, clicking shift D and then we can see it. Now what is this exactly? This is like a Photoshop for sound. I can select specific areas, play them, listen and I can erase thing and change and I'm going to give you a quick explanation about how it works. So I'm sure all of you know the parametric equalizer. In this kind of traditional EQ we have the frequencies that are aligned on the horizontal X and we have the levels, the volume dB that is on the vertical X. So if I'm selecting a point and I'm moving it up or down, I'm going to change the level of a specific frequency. If I'm moving it right or left, I'm going to change the frequency. So this is very similar, except that the frequencies are on the vertical X and the level of each frequency is represented by the intensity of the color. So this is very intuitive, just by playing it. When my person got three stars, I'm going to immediately understand that the electronic beep that I want to remove is this horizontal shape, which I can select using the selection tool. And just by pressing delete, When my person got three stars, it's completely gone. No artifacts, the voice isn't muffled, nothing. When my person got three stars, it's really perfect. So the next thing is to simply save it. And then it's going to automatically update my clip inside Premiere. When my person got three stars, it was like an explosion of happiness. That's it, really easy, really fast. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below.